In this video, I'm going to be showing you kind of the foundational concept to every effective offense in Madden 23. This concept can be applied no matter what the formation. And if you want to get my free Madden 23 five-step passing system ebook, it actually encompasses, it's a it's an ebook that will translate no matter what Madden it is. And it teaches you the five steps to creating an offense. No matter what the formation, no matter what the year, you can take this system and actually apply it to making a really incredible offense. So if you want to check that out, it's completely free. The link is down in the description. Also, if you want to take your game to the next level, I also have a Patreon. You can join that. That's where I get all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check that out down in the description below, that is down there as well. All right, guys. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about the five or uh, the foundations uh, that every great Madden offense is built on. And it's really a couple of key things. Um, one of the things that it's actually built on is its ability to be able to basically block uh, pressure. It's also built on its ability to run the ball. But there are some key foundational passing concepts uh, that are really key as well. So we're going to go through a formation that not a lot of people are really running right now. Why off trio week in the Saints playbook? A lot of people are utilizing the Saints playbook. A lot of people are utilizing tight offset and they're utilizing um, bunch and they're even utilizing the split offset, empty Saints, stack flex. It's just a lot of different good formations. This Y off trio week is actually really good. And some people are running at the beginning of the year, but it's actually really good. I want to break it down. So as we look through this, couple things um, to kind of, again, that matter is you need a power play. You need some kind of play that you can rely on like against any defensive coverage in the game. You need a power play. Now, that concept can consist of all kinds of different things. What I like to suggest this year because of how prevalent main coverage is, is we want to look at timeless route concepts that have applied year over year. One of those is the slant post concept. And I've talked about that a lot on the channel. That's going to be kind of our primary foundational element to be able to attack main coverage. But another thing we want to look at here is I have a left-handed quarterback, Mark Brunel. Um, and so this play action animation is going to be really, really, really good. So we're going to utilize PA post dig shot as kind of our base play. Now, from an audible perspective, what do we want to have in here? There's all kinds of different things that we could talk about. Saints cross, Saints outs, sticking up, all good concepts. I'm going to set a couple audibles just for the purpose of the video. So we're going to have uh, Saints uh, Saints uh, cross, uh, or I apologize, Saints, um, what's it called here if I can find it? Uh, sticking up this one right here. This is a great play uh, for man coverage. We do need a corner route We want to have something to attack the sideline. So kind of looking through here. Do we have a corner out? We have Saints deep out uh, So we'll take a look at that play and then we have uh, verticals. I don't really like that seam route. We want a good seam route uh, So as we're looking through here doesn't have a great verticals concept um, That's okay. We can create that. So all right, let's get on the field and talk about our base play so if you look at Madden um, at a, as a whole, this is kind of a principle that I've been wrestling with myself is we want to be able to attack the entire field. Now, this can mean something different to depending on the person that you hear this from. Um, how do you attack the whole field? Well, the field is horizontally and vertically um, a ton of space. So what I like to do is we're going to go ahead and utilize a motion slant route. So real simple, we're going to put our tight end on a tight end apprentice post. If you don't have a tight end apprentice post, then you can just leave uh, Tyreek Hill on his crosser, and then we're going to motion uh, motion CD Lamb, or not, I apologize, uh, leave CD Lamb on his route, and you can motion uh, Reek. Actually, I guess you can't motion anybody across this formation, so that's good to know. Um, but anyway, the idea here is, again, just trying to, maybe we can do something like this, Okay. Just a simple drag wrap to the tight end. This is more of a Y cross style concept. And you can see that we're attacking the flat on the left side. We're attacking intermediate on the left side. We're technically attacking the vertical because this post is so deep. And then we're also attacking um, the backside middle of the field. Okay. So a couple different things. Um, if you motion this tight end across, it can make it a little easier on you. Uh, just put your tight end on a drag, motion them across, and then just snap the ball and you have basically a shallow cross concept. Now, let's talk a little bit about C.D. Lamb and his route and how it actually ran into Tyreek Hill's route. That is something that is kind of like a cardinal sin um, in Madden, unless you're running like mesh. You don't want these guys running into one another. As you see here, like 
a user can guard both routes. So we need to create route combos that, that don't have that, that don't where people don't run into one another on the play. So actually a really good slant post concept, honestly, is a sticking up play because this post route to Michael Irvin is short enough that it can get into kind of a soft spot. So what we can do here is we could just streak uh, the tight end and then and then we have this uh, this route to Tyree Kill. We could even probably take CeeDee Lamb, put him on a slant, motion him in, snap the ball like right in here. You see now the slant's going to run that way. And then you have your post coming back over the middle that beats man. So different concepts like this are really, really important. Um, let's take a look at this deep out. You see it's about a it's about a 15 yard deep out. So if we streak, uh, if we streak and flat, then basically what we're gonna look at here is we want to check and see if the um, purple, like a curl flat at 10 yards, can guard this deep out. You see here, it can guard the deep out, but what? guess what was wide open? The flat route. So now we have kind of another concept uh, to pair with this offense. So anyways, uh, from a power play perspective, you just want something that you can run at a high percentage. So what we're going to do here is just a simple drag route uh, to Daniels. And then what I like to do actually is we're going to motion CD Lamb in, put him on a slant route. Notice how it stacks this formation. It's actually interesting. But then we're just going to motion him back out and snap the ball while he's in motion. This will help a lot with the spacing of everything and the timing of the routes. And you see there that that crosser can kind of get into a soft spot. Now, you need your power play to be able to beat man, zone, and match at a high level. So um, this play, we want to ask ourselves the question, okay, it beats man because we have a lot of crossers. How does it gonna how is it gonna do at beating zone? Well, if we look here, you're gonna notice if they don't play hard flats, then Daniels is gonna be wide open on this little drag route. So now they have to play hard flats. So if they play hard flats on that left side, it's it's a lot of if then like Q and A. So if they play hard flats, then what are we going to do? We look here, oh, that's covered, but look who's wide open. Now my crosser is coming open across the field. So hence the name Y cross. Um, if this was a two by two set, all you would need to do to run Y cross is put the tight end on an out route, and then you have your Y cross and your backside dig. So we've in essence created the Y cross concept from a trips formation, running it a little differently than we might run it if we were sending five out. Like another way you could run this play is you could put two out routes. You could do something like this. This is still Y cross. It's at the core, it's still the, 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 the two man game of the crosser and the dig. So keep that in mind as you're creating your route concepts. But now we say, okay, so now, you know, in, in, in this defense here, let's say who are they gonna use her? Well, they're probably gonna use her this player right here. So let's say he takes away the crosser and then we need to ask ourselves the question okay and this is obviously drop eight coverage um but okay he takes away the crosser so now what is the main route that is open on this play well if we look at this we're going to see that the slant route will eventually come open over the middle of the field if they have a yellow you might have to wait on it the bottom line is it's going to come open so we're able to beat man coverage we're able to beat different types of zone coverage and now we want to ask ourselves can we beat uh, match coverage can we attack match coverage well? Um, so cover six is kind of a, a great little little match concept here. So again, you play this little motion game. Boom, boom. And now if you look at this, you're going to see, yep, my crosser gets over the top, and I have my drag route on the left side. So this play is now an effective concept, not only for match, but for man and for zone. And this makes this play a really good power play. Now, you can run it like this with the backside dig if you wanted to. Um, you're just going to have to trust that timing. That timing can be a little little bit interesting against man coverage, but this is how you kind of go about creating a great concept. And you can also, um, again, when I talk, I'm trying to teach conceptually here. So one of the other things I want to say before we take off is conceptual vertical route. So like a crossing route could be a slant. So it could be like this. This could be the setup right here and you'll see now it creates different timing but it's still the same concept okay another thing i want to say is the vertical so the vertical on this play it could be a c route and now if you watch this you'll see the c route will clear out that left side and then this guy's coming in underneath it 
So you can have different variations of what a vertical is. It could be a streak. It could be a post. It could be a. It could be a. Um, a C route. This crosser could be a. Could be all kinds of things, right? And every every decision you make is going to change the timing of the play. But the concept is still basically the same. In this in this example, it's Y cross, right? So, anyways, that's kind of how you go about creating an offense. We're going to talk a little bit more about this formation later this week. Uh, but wanted to do a video just kind of giving you like the how do you start? How do you start with an offense? What what are you looking for in a power play? You're looking for something that is probably more than likely either Y cross, verticals, um, slant post or shallow, Y sail or Y corner um, or a flood, something like that. Maybe even a stick concept. But basically, what is a really high level play that you can rely on? For the majority of the game, it's going to be able to beat match. It's going to be able to beat zone. It's going to be able to beat man. And they're going to have to adjust to taking it away. So if you want to learn how I do that in some of my offensive and defensive ebooks, make sure you join the Patreon. That's only 10 bucks to become a member. The link is down in the description. Thanks for watching the video.